Hello, my friends. Hallo, mein Hase. <lacht> Hi, mein Schatz. Ja, da bin ich. Hi, guys. Thank you for joining me. My name is uh, Angela and I am the owner of Creative Energy from Elfen und Helden. I'm a multiband retailer over here in Frankfurt in Germany. And um, well, tonight I'm happy to um, continue our um, project we started last week. This is like the uh, one of the finished ones, um, like um, like this uh, direction we are going to. Hi, what you been? Thank you for joining me, guys. When you tune in, just let me know where you're watching from, and if you have any questions, just leave it in the comments. Um, before I forget to say that, uh, if I'm not answering it straight away. I will come back later and uh, check on your questions. And apart from that, Woody Band is here to help us out. Hi, Lisa. Thank you for joining. So, guys, uh, this is like um, the piece we are going for. And uh, last week we started with, um, we chosen different colors this time. Um, hi, Irina. Thank you for joining me. Uh, we've chosen different colors this time. A little brighter, um, which is like a chalk mineral paints. And we've uh, used two canvases, glued them together to get a little bit of height because we want to put some lights in there later. If I'm going to do that today, I will see um, because it's a pretty uh, time consuming project anyway. But um, the main thing is uh, that we do the stenciling today. And um, you see this trim, this is the trim 118 from Would You Bend, which we put around as a frame. And this is going to be um, basically made beautiful. Hallo Sabine, made beautiful with um, some yeah, posh uh, chalk patina in silver. So um, for stenciling, I'm using the um, posh chalk paste, which always the same. I always think I have everything with me and there's always something I'm not having. So the colors I've chosen for stenciling on this piece is um, the blue fit, blue fit tallow. I don't know how you uh, pronounce it correctly. Hi, Sally. Thank you for joining. Hi, Michelle. Thank you for tuning in. Um, the um, pearl silver and the... Why did you choose so difficult names? Uh, Red Aliza Rain. Those are the three colors we're going to do the, the stenciling with. And uh, the stencil I have is um, the, oh dear, is the uh, deer I'm using. And uh, when we start now, I shall put the camera down that you can see the project, what I'm doing. Um, so you won't see my face. Uh, I apologize for that, but it's more important that you see what I'm doing here. So, let's see. If I miss any comments, guys, I will come back later and check on them. So, this should be fine. I don't want to drop the whole thing. Oh, this, should be, this should be good like this. Hang on. I've got a pull Instagram over here because we've got the... There we go. There we go. Okay. So, um... I'm going to adjust that just slightly with a bit of tape and I'm not measuring it. I always eyeball the things when I put them down. I've got no time for measuring. So are there any projects you're working on tonight? Or you've been working on today? Uh, okay, guys, and um, I've um, got like a shoebox underneath because obviously um, this canvas is like, it's not solid. So if, we, if I want to do the stenciling, um, I want to have like a solid underground. So I've put this um, shoebox underneath, uh, which is nice and solid. So I can do my stenciling on top here. So um, which one shall we start with? I think I'm going to go in the middle with the, with the blue fellow because I really like that color. So you open them up and they just look like that. I've got um, a nice flowery smell to them. And I've just got like this, um, this little spatula 
and I mix it up before I'm using it. Yeah, I should get my paste prepared before I start going on the sink. Got my baby wipes with me. It's one of my most important tools, as you know me. Um, then this is the red Aliza Rain. I'm learning. I'm getting the names in, which is like a, like a coppery reddish color. Very very pretty. I really like those colors. So, number two. And, oops, yep. Yeah. It wouldn't be me if I wouldn't throw something, wouldn't it? So, and the silver on an old sewing machine. That sounds interesting. I'd love to see some pictures from that. Hi, Amy. Hi to California. Thank you, Yelena. So, and this is the pearl silver. And they are nice and oh, it's like, I don't know what you call that. It's like some icing or something like that, I guess. So I'm gonna come in now, what did I say? I start in the middle. You can mix those colors also. You can blend them into each other. So I'm just going to put a little on there. And to start in the middle. So this is not a sticky stencil. So I'm going to hold that down a little bit that the paste doesn't move under the under the stencil and it's a pretty thin stencil also so this is not one of the um, post chalk stencils as I'm waiting for those I had to use one of my stencils for now but this will work for this project and it's easy to apply with one of those spatulas. I also have my Mr. Bottle with me because I found that on the on the canvas it can happen that you pull the paste up. Smooth it out a little. So come in with my silver for the up here I think I'm gonna go with some blue also for the ears oops It's like a yeah, it's like a paste you can easily just spread over your stencil. So on the other side. Anybody use the paste? Hi Paula, thank you for joining. And if you haven't done that, I would really appreciate it if you pop over to my page and leave me a like there. And also who's watching on my page, I don't know if you already um, like the Woody Ben page, then pop over to that page and leave a like there. And hit the notification bell so that you get informed when there's like new projects um, on over there or on my channel so 
a bit more of blue for the ears. It's like icing a cake, actually. That's um, quite fun. And as I said, those um, paste, they got like a flowery smell to them. They smell pretty nice. And now the, those um, outsides, I'm going to do this, the red, Avisa Rain. Just going outside like this. So then we're going to do some little magic to the to the pace. Got my heat gun with me. Going to let those pop. Oops. I lifted the stencil there so it probably won't be quite clear on this corner, but um, as it is handmade. It doesn't need to be perfect. I'm a perfectionist, but when it comes down to art and to crafts, I always think that uh, people can see it's handmade and it's not um, out of a out of a machine. So, got that down. Smooth it down a little bit. So now I'm going to take the tape off first and reveal the whole thing. So I'm going to spritz it a little bit with some water just to keep it a little more. It's just like this is just like a Mr. Bottle. Just clean one of my spatulas off so that I can move the paste if I need to. Can just like easily wipe it off, just like this. So now let's start on the end here and just lift it carefully up. Yeah, you can see I've, I've moved down here, moved the stencil, so. So and even the stencil is pretty thin. This is a quite nice raised, raised stenciling. So. Put that straight into a bucket with water and let it soak in there. What do you think? That looks pretty nice, I think. I quite like that. So I'm just going to get like this my spatula. Just go this area where I moved under the stencil. Just take it off there just a little. Just a nice thing about those paste, you can move them as long as they're wet, you can move them. Okay, guys, do you like it so far? Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> Thank you, Kathy. So, heat gun. And now you have to watch. Um, um, it's going to be a bit noisy now. I have to apologize. Um, but uh, yeah, sorry. 
I thought about it, so today I have one. I'm gonna come a little closer to you so you can see. There's longer pace, uh, red. You can, um, when you come in with the heat gun, you can bubble them up. It's like a great race. This is just like magic. I could do that for hours. I just love that. Floor before I drop it. Can you see how that um, basically raised the that paste? Um, yes, is the the posh um, chalk uh, paste? That's right, Paula. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Daniel. I have a flat top that does. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, a flat top, that's uh, even better. Uh, I haven't got one, so the, the bucket is like the, the next best thing, but that's probably even better. Okay, so this is uh, the first part. Now we're going to come to the... I'm just going to close those down. And I hardly used any of the, of the paste for that, just very little. They go a long way. Still, I'm closing them down because um, otherwise chaos will probably hit in a minute. There you go. There go. Clean those off. You can just wipe that off easily with um, there's a baby wipe to get it nice and clean again. So I'm going to come in now with the um, patina. Let me see which one. This is the patina. The silver one from um, also from Posh Chalk. Uh, looks like that. And I'm having one of those artist brushes. Hang on. Where is it? Just like this. You can put it, uh, apply it with your finger also, but um, I sometimes do that. And sometimes I use uh, one of those artist brushes. So now we're just going to go, let's see if you can uh, see the bottom here. Um, when I apply those, they are for um, enhancing the highlights. The blue is spectacular, isn't it, Paula? I like it also. Um, this is for enhancing the, the highlights, what I'm using it for. So therefore, I'm holding the uh, brush uh, like um, horizontal um, to the project. So I'm, I'm just like going over the high spots. because I want to keep the colors underneath. And that's basically the same thing I've done with the caviar because I wanted to, the outside to be a little darker to pick up the, give like a nice contrast to the pigments. 
uh, the pigments, the patina. And the patina you can basically use just like any gilding wax. It's um, oil based as most of the gilding waxes or all gilding waxes I know, they are all oil based. So, do you see the difference? Gives it like this nice shiny, shiny look. I'm going to do that all the way around and moving the brush just gentle over the, the surface because I just want to catch the highlight and I want to keep the colors underneath just to give it a little more interest. Do that all the way around. And uh, as I said, you can also use your finger. You just like, uh, you dip your finger in there and it's uh, nice and soft. Get it on your fingertip and then you can go over the project like this also. This just works about the same, just as good. And you can like wash that off with soap afterwards if you want to. But as I said, I'm going to take that brush Just brushing gently over the surface. All the way around. And this is uh, basically making the frame pop now. I was thinking about using two different colors for this, but uh, I think I quite like it like this. It's, um, at some point, it's uh, too much color. And you can do that as much or as little um, you like to have it. This basically is up to your own taste. That's the time. So you can, you basically, you um, use this as any other gilding wax also. It's very rich. You don't need much of it. And it goes on nice and easy because it's it's um, nice and soft. So I don't know if you can actually can read that in the background. I wrote down the oops, I'll make it a little closer. I wrote down all the colors and stuff we've used till now, so maybe that helps a little. you want to recreate that look. So, almost finished. So then comes after that, um, I mean, you could totally leave it like this, you know, this is, um,
This is basically a piece of art like, like this. But we want to put some lights on there. I'm just going to go over that side here also. So, just show you quickly. This is basically now what the frame looks like. This is nice and sparkly. So now we've got the, let me see, I'm probably going to, yeah, I'm going to pop those. Um, you can also use your spatula and just like pop those down because then the lights break a little more in those um, because it gets wrinkly. I'll show you. gets a little wrinkly and the lights from those uh, Christmas lights we're using for it are going to reflect in the wrinkles even more. I can do that because it's still not uh, completely dry. show you. This is now getting a little more wrinkly, which gives it a nice character, I think. So, um, now, Christmas lights. What I do to mark those, oops, what I do to mark those, this is like, this is uh, 40 lights, the same. And um, the difference between a patina and a normal gilding wax. Um, Paula, the um, patina from uh, Posh Chalk for me goes on much smoother than some of the gilding waxes, which some of them are pretty dry and this is a very smooth, um, yeah, um, basically as a gilding wax to, to put on there. So first I'm going to decide where I'm going to have this uh, thing on the back because this is basically going then, you know, obviously in here where you can open that. That's the reason, you know, this is a little thicker so you can put that in there, but I'm marking it when I'm having on this side first. And I'm going to lay out my lights first. It's a bit tricky. You decide where you want to have it around your around your project basically. I'm not going to do the whole process with you. I'm, um, I'm going to finish that off on my page later. I don't want to take up your time. If you want to watch how I do that, you're very welcome. Um, but I'm basically just showing you how I prepare it now. I lay it down like this and I get a paint, whatever, you know, just some of the, the paint. And I'm just going to use it out of the lid. And I have this, I have like this little tool, which like this pointed tip. You can use uh, whatever, you can use a pen or something like that. It's just for me, it works pretty good with this. So, and then I'm basically putting down, can you see that? Yeah. I'm putting down basically where I want to have the lights and I'm making sure that they are not too far apart because when we put them at the back in that they have one here, have one 
here, F1, here. So I'm just going to show you this. Now you can, you have like those little marks and then you get a very sharp uh, knife. It's got to be very sharp. And uh, then you are going to destroy your piece of art. This, this is always the part where I'm like, yeah. Ooh, shall I do that or shall I don't? So, and then you go in your marks and just in a twist motion, you go into your canvas. Very gentle. Otherwise, you might, um, you might rip. Okay, that's the shoebox underneath. Now you need basically that there is nothing underneath. Can you still see that? Let's go back here. Very gentle. And in a twisty mo motion, you just go through the canvas. Just about enough that you can push the light through. If you press too hard, you might rip the canvas. So always set it on top and twist it. And then you have the holes. And then you can push it, uh, the lights in from the back, basically. That's how it works. Then you go to the inside, so you can see. And then you push, let's see. Let's see that you can see. Go to the inside and then you push it gently through. And it just sticks through and you go then basically through the hole. Then you've got all the holes in. You push that through here. I'm going to do that over the whole canvas, but I'm not going to do that with you here. This is too just too boring. And then you come in with your um, with your hot glue. Then you come in with your hot glue, and you just um, glue that basically on. Make a blob around it. You know, it's. it's this is the back, you won't see that at the front. So this is basically at the end covered up. Glue that on there so that they don't uh, slip out anymore. Make sure that they sit straight. And then basically at the end, you're having your um, lights peeking through at the front like this. And you can use your, oh, this is my silver fingers on there. I shall wipe that off in a second. That's basically how that works. That's the idea of it. So, guys, I'm going to let you go. Um, I'm not going to do that with you. This is, um, I think it's more interesting for you to see how you can uh, do the right stenciling and stuff like that. I will come uh, back in about half an hour, about nine o'clock on my page, and I shall finish it off. So for everybody, I'm going to put you off so you can see my face. So for everybody who would like to see that, anybody who would like to see that, I'll be very happy if you join me. Um, as I said, about nine o'clock it's about 20 minutes uh if you pop over there um we can do that together otherwise i thank you so much for having been with me here i hope you enjoyed that and it's given you um yeah some ideas for your own projects and i'll be very happy if you join my page and leave me a like there let me see you're welcome thank you irina thank you lisa 
You're sweet. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you guys for joining me. Uh, you have a great uh, evening. Again, my name is Angela. I am the owner of Creative Energy from Elton and Helden. I'm a Woody Band and Poshchalk uh, retailer over here in Frankfurt in Germany. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you in about half an hour. Thank you, Sally. Thank you, Sally, for having me on your page. Thank you, Michelle. Bye bye, guys. So, bye, guys. Thank you.